Our reading is taken from Matthew 13, verse 53, through to 14, verse 12. A prophet without honour. When Jesus had finished these parables, he moved on from there. Coming to his hometown, he began teaching the people in their synagogue, and they were amazed. Where did this man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers, they asked. Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother's name Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon and Judas? Aren't all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offence at him. But Jesus said to them, only in his hometown and in his own house is a prophet without honour. And he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith. John the Baptist beheaded. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard the reports about Jesus and he said to his attendants, this is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead. That is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John and bound him and put him in prison because of Herodias, his, brother's, his brother Philip's wife. For John had been saying to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Herod wanted to kill John but he was afraid of the people because they considered him a prophet. On Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced for them and pleased Herod so much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he ordered that her request be granted and had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who carried it to her mother. John's disciples came and took his body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. 